In this video, I will talk about the circular motion and relative motion. Firstly, I would like to remind a bit about the acceleration. So acceleration is a combination of tangential acceleration and normal acceleration, where tangential acceleration describes the change uh, in uh, um, magnitude of velocity, where the normal acceleration describes the change in direction of velocity, of motion actually. So, if we consider the circular motion with a constant speed, that means the velocity is a constant. Uh, I mean the, the uh, magnitude of velocity is a constant. So, it, like that. So when we take the derivative of velocity with respect to time, we have zero. That means the tangential acceleration is zero. How about the normal acceleration? So because the motion, we have a circular motion. That means the object have to change direction to have the the circle. Therefore, we have the change in direction of motion. So the normal acceleration is different from zero. Therefore, the total acceleration in this case is the normal acceleration. And the tangential acceleration equals zero because the uh, speed is a constant. Uh, therefore, uh, related to circular motion with constant speed, we just focus on the normal acceleration and normal acceleration is defined by this formula, where V is uh, uh, the speed of uh, motion, and R here is the radius of the trajectory. Now, I will uh, introduce a bit about the relative motion. Suppose that I have a static system O here, and O prime here is moving system. Now, I have a, a particle here. So firstly, I will, will draw the position vector, the pos position vector of motion system with respect to the static system is R. It's like this. Now I will draw the position vector of the particle with respect to the moving system. So it will be like this. And finally, I will uh, draw the position vector of the particle with respect to the static system. So it will be like this. So take a look on this triangle. We can see that um, the position vector of the object with respect to the static system equal the position vector of the moving system with respect to the static plus the position vector of the particle with respect to the moving system. So the uh, uh, we can draw like this. If we take the derivative of this expression with respect to time, so we have a velocity of the uh, of the particle with respect to the static system equal velocity of the moving system with respect to the static plus the velocity of the particle with respect to the moving system. So we have uh, the relationship between the velocities. If we take the derivative both sides, so we have acceleration like this. Uh, actually, the exercise for relative motion is uh, a bit uh, uh, complicated. It's up to the condition, the given, to define where is the moving system, where is the static system, and where is the particle that you want to consider. So in uh, um, exercise, you have to focus on that kind of thing. So now I will s summarize all the information for kinetics. As I said before, we, there are three important quantities. The first one is the position vector r. Based on position vector, you can calculate the velocity. So related to velocity, you have uh, uh, instantaneous velocity, average velocity, and speed. Related to position vector, you have a displacement. You have a um, distance traveled here. And based on velocity, you can calculate the acceleration. Related to acceleration, you have 
instantaneous instantaneous acceleration you have uh, average ac acceleration and remember that acceleration is a combination of tangential acceleration and normal acceleration now uh, based on uh, position vector velocity and acceleration you can define or analyze some times of motion so but if a, a acceleration from acceleration you can go in the opposite direction you can calculate the velocity from velocity you can calculate the position vector so if acceleration is a constant so the uh, formula for velocity based on a you can um, say like this and when you have velocity, you can define the position vector like this. Based on these two formulas, you can define some kind of motions. For example, straight motion, uh, projectile motion. Related to projectile motion, you try to remember the uh, maximum height and uh, the um, flight time and the horizontal range. And you also have a relative motion in the relationship between different um, velocities here conclusion here is firstly you have to uh, understand clearly position vector velocity and acceleration based on these three uh, quantities you can al analyze everything in kinematics thank you for listening